Hello YouTube, welcome back, this is Doofus K. I thought I'd make a quick video um, about this particular component of the quadcopter that I am building. So this is a wireless uh, AV receiver, uh, the model number, now it says on the board here RC301, um, and the actual model that I bought was an RC305. Uh, you can, I just looked it up, you can still get them on Hobby King, Amazon, you know, they're about 16 bucks uh, from China, a little bit more than that if you get it, uh, you know, in the US. Uh, it's a 5.8 gigahertz unit. Um, I believe it's eight channels, I could be wrong. I'm fairly certain that it's eight channels. Now I bought this thing, um, probably less than a year ago uh, from when this video was made and if you look at the date code it says 2010 um, so clearly they've been making these for a long time now this is my this is my macro lens so I zoomed in quite a lot but so when I got this when, when you buy these modules or when I got this module um, they come in like a really nice extruded aluminum uh, you know case but the actual like shielding can for this thing was you know flopping in the breeze so uh, I thought I'd take a quick moment to take a you know take a look at it under this lens and see what made it tick so uh, the first thing was the date code um, you know here's the antenna connector etc and all that pretty standard stuff there's the actual chipset you know 5 volt regulator bunch of connectors and LED so you can see here that uh, this is this just a standard, well I don't know about standard, but it's a, a module that they just soldered onto the secondary board that breaks out all the connectors and everything. So pretty standard stuff. How's the, oh, I made it a little bit too, yep there we go, a little too dark. So that might be a little bit better to see here but uh, kind of a crappy solder job you can actually see uh, right here where those little uh, you know it's like a shielding can I don't even know where it went um, I should probably put it back on before I actually put this whole thing together but uh, the shielding can the tabs were in there but it just wasn't soldered it wasn't soldered down correctly so um, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, granted it's, you know, 20 bucks or whatever, I think is what I paid for it, including shipping, so uh, it's it's not a big deal. Um, I don't actually know if this even works. Um, I've tested the, uh, I've tested the camera that I have, I've also tested the screen that I have, but I have not tested this, so, and that's sort of why I was um, putting it in this little case here, was to test it, so... So yeah, that's the actual chip set. Uh, as you can see, the soldering job is suspect at best. Uh, some sort of crystal, maybe. Um, not an electronics, huge electronics nerd. There is a, um, a four switch, like dip switch thing that you can adjust the channels. Uh, so you can get eight channels out of it. Uh, you know, a lot of heat sinking. This thing gets pretty hot and LED for power. This is the actual power jack. Um, so it's all pretty standard stuff, not uh, nothing too crazy. Um, oh, actually, that is a crystal. It's kind of hard to read on the screen. I'll have to look at it maybe later. But uh, so anyway, yeah, RC three hundred five is the model that I ordered. Um, obviously, they've been recycling these boards. Um, you know, there's nothing too crazy. They could use the standard board and then just put a different module on it depending on what um you know what radio frequency or whatever there is a 32 channel version of this as well but it's you know slightly more it's like 25 dollars instead of 20 dollars so um yeah I, I bought these just to see how they were you know the the better quality fancy pants ones i mean you can spend 100 bucks on a receiver and a transmitter so I was just trying to see how much of a cheap ass I could be. So so this is what you get for 20 bucks. Uh, untested as of right now. I'll probably make a second video uh, showing how I test it or, or what have you. But So there you go. RC305 under the old 
uh, macro lens. Uh, this is a 100 millimeter Canon macro lens, probably my favorite lens. Uh, it's pretty sweet. So I hear my oven beeper going off upstairs, so I better go. But I uh, thought I'd make a quick video, and uh, I will update you on uh, whether or not it works. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next episode.